Hello audience, this is your host Cindy and you are watching the book reviewer. I have another book review to share. So before we get into today's book review, um, if you'll notice the video I put up yesterday, um, it would be about the first book in the series. Um, and then I mentioned The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe in that video. Um, I'll put a link and, sorry, bump my camera, and for that video. Um, so, after reading that first book, um, I reread The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And the lighting is horrendous. Okay. And, so, to recap, um, they go through some trials, and the four children become kings and queens of Narnia. So Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy are all kings and queens of Narnia. There is a word while rereading The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe that I had not noticed before. This is the word that I saw that was pretty unique. Um, I think this comes from an old English word. It's breakfasted. And I did a Google search on it. And it's basically the past tense of having breakfast. That's all it is. Um, so, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is pretty awesome. Even when I reread it. Um, I'll put a card in the uh, video so you can go check out that video. That was one of the first ones that I did. Um, so this book, this book review, is this one. It's called The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis. And this takes place when the kings and queens of Narnia have ruled for quite some time in Narnia itself. And the lighting is bad. There it goes. Um, so, the uh, okay, so, um, when Aslan in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe says, um, when they, he named them kings and queens, and they each got different names, like, Susan the Gentle and Peter the Magnificent. He told them, once a king or queen of Narnia, always a king or queen of Narnia. Okay, so the story starts out, this story starts out, and we meet a little boy named Shasta. I know, for a boy, yeah, that's not it. <laughs> But he is the son of a fisherman, and he doesn't have affection for his father. Though Shasta himself knows that he probably should have affection for his father. Is that better? That looks better. Okay, so he... He is a young boy, I'm guessing about 9 or 10 years old, and he works with his dad. He cleans the fisher nets, he takes care of some of the other uh, stuff. And one day, a stranger comes into the land, and he overhears his dad and the stranger talking about selling him to become a slave. That doesn't really go over well with Shasta. Uh, he runs away with this horse that he meets and, and finds out that he is from Narnia, where all the other animals talk, and that's just how it kind of goes. So, the horse's name is really weird, and here it is. Brehi Haini Brini Hoi Ha. And Shasta tells him, I'm never going to be able to pronounce that. I'm going to call you Bree. And so he does. 
Um, a, a couple of vocabulary words I found in this particular book were bathe, which means bath, because he was in like a river or something and washing himself off, and Fortnite. Now, I did a Google search on Fortnite, and it literally um, is, by definition, 14 nights. Which, by definition, for our time, is two weeks. And that is considered a fortnight. So, Aravis is the little girl that Shasta meets. Um, she is brought in kind of later in the book. And she mentions that they're telling stories. And she mentions she was going to kill herself when she meets this horse that was also from Narnia that could talk. Um, this is a good book. This is only about 224 pages. I'll put a link in the description below where you can find it. Amazon, eBay, or your local library would have it too. Um, if you liked The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, you will definitely, definitely like this book. Um, this is probably recommended for ages 8 and up. So, um, I think there's also maybe a book on tape you could get of this book if you, you know, commute or something like that. And, um, while you're at it, if you like this series, um, you could go ahead and get the whole collection because after you read The Horse and His Boy, you are going to want to read the next one, which I, too, will be reading and reviewing. So, that's the book review for today. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again on Tuesday. Bye!